to the Van Life Festival in Shrewsbury. It's the first time we've been to that area and it's the first time we've been to a Van Life Festival. So we're really looking forward to it. So we have arrived at the race course, Shrewsbury, um, ready for Van Life Festival. So we're in a queue at the moment, I'll just show you. Welcome to Van Life Festival. Woohoo! So we've paid for the camping for tonight and we're just finding out what lane we're in. So here we are. Chilling. Strange man just joined us with his car. <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, you can speak. <laughs> this is Colin. This is Say hello, everyone. Colin. Say hello, Colin. Hello, Colin. <laughs> Colin's joined us for Van Life Festival. He was supposed to be in his new van, but same sort of problem as us. It hadn't arrived in time. So it, he got a camper ticket for the weekend. So I decided just to bring his car and he's going to jump in with us. He didn't actually need a van because if you look over there, he's brought his whole cottage with him. Look. Yeah. So we're parked up in the motorhome happiness area of the festival um, and I'm going to show you where we've got our van parked at the moment. Um, it is just here and as you can see we've got a motorhome happiness flag there and a motorhome happiness flag there. Oh, they're off on another adventure. Van Life Festival on the Thursday evening. There's quite a lot of people here um, for the, to, who have arrived a day early. Hang on, what have we got here? That's the talks. Saturday and uh, Sunday. Yeah, and that's the lineup, is it? What we got? About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away, this is what we wish. So we're just, um, it's the first day of officially opening for the Van Life Festival here in Shrewsbury and we're just outside on the motorhome happiness field Morning. and uh, we've run into oh. some um, friends who we've just met who are a lovely couple and it's Carol and John and they're from, um, here they are, from Budge's Bus. So, so what are you doing? What's your YouTube channel about? Obviously it's, the bus. It, it, <laughs> yeah. It's basically just travelling. Um, yeah. I like to find cheap park ups and let people know where they are or free ones. Yeah. That's basically it really. Bit of technical bit solar panels and stuff. Yeah. Bit of everything really. Yeah. Alright, brilliant. So you're gonna we'll catch up with you a bit later on. Yeah. That's no alright, we're gonna see you yeah. around. So yeah. lovely to meet you. And you, you um, take care. Yeah. Well, how are you getting on me? I'm doing good, thank you. Yes, I can't wait to uh, go and well, find some uh, food stalls because I'm getting a bit hungry. Do you want any any yes, That was a bloody good burger. Those were bloody good burgers. This is for yours, Colin. How's your ice cream? Mm. Not bad. Enjoying yours? Mm. Lovely. Having a great day here today. Just meeting loads of people, had a quick walk around, said hello to a few people here and there, new, meet new friends. Um, one of the people we bumped into yesterday has managed to find us again is Mark from a van life thing. Look at me, I'm mingling with YouTubers. <laughs> me being sociable. He is one. He is one. <laughs> 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 so 
They've got a few display vans and caravans and things around at the Van Life Festival this time and there's a lovely lady here, I'm just asking if I can look around hers and this is Becky. Hello, welcome to our van. So how long have you had this? How has it been done? Is it all been built from scratch? So my husband built this um, yeah. on a VW camper chassis. Wow. So everything on the wow. back he's built um, in red cedar. Uh, it's, it's a composite um, uh, structure that he's yeah. developed himself. So both the caravan and the motorhome are built with that. With recycle bottles, insulating wow. it and giving it its strength structure and strength so yeah oh thank you very much for being kind enough to let me have a look yeah. around it where we are there's a display van turned up today just parked opposite us I absolutely love it this was um, a white van and the guy that owns it has basically done everything himself to it apart from spray it loving it's all about the journey on the top I'm just gonna show you around quickly So um, yeah, so great guy, and yes. he's going to do the honour of placing our first sticker on our new van. Um, it's going to be a motorhome happiness sticker. Can't um, wait. So if you do the honour, James, yes, will. On the we're going to have it on the Swift Contiki 794. Well, we will have it at the top, and it'll be start of our sticker trail. So if you want that, let's go at the top. To, at the top, to, that's it. You take pride and place. That is absolutely yeah, perfect. She is. Thanks a lot. James, thank Hello. you.
doing Earth and Egg sandwiches before the mad rush of Saturday at Van Life Festival. From this time on the road. Boston build or do you? Yeah, we take so from the panel, panel van to yeah, yeah. that. To that yeah. Yeah. That's a, that came to us as a combi, so it's just it turned into a day van. Yeah, yeah. um, everything from car So if someone had a van already, do you do that yeah. as well? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And what, what we're finding more and more now is that you know, <laughs> folks will get a van and yeah. they'll want to do some bits themselves, yeah. but they might not want to cut a hole in the roof and yeah, yeah. cut the windows in, so they'll bring it to us to do you know, the trickier yeah. bits. Yeah. And then they'll really really spend really a few months tinkering around with it, <laughs> really get fed up, and then come yeah. back and we'll finish it for them. Nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah. But, um, you know, so it's, it, we're totally flexible. Yeah, yeah. So Western camper vans. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. The business yeah, that's name. us. Yeah, yeah, we're just down the road. There we go. Yeah. It was good. Hi, yeah. So this is. I'm Brian. Brian, and yeah, we're just looking around your store and uh, I think it looks absolutely amazing. But you know, what's the name of the brand or the, the company? So or? the company's called Modern Wolfer, yeah. um, and it started. Um, I be became very, very ill. Uh, over the last couple of years, I've got uh, severe heart failure, Ooh, so yeah. I've had to pretty much stop working. Yeah. Um, yeah. But what I did do, um, particularly over lockdown, was taught myself how to sew. Right. Um, okay. And then That's... I started making clothing. So I make um, I make clothing. So I cut it, pattern it, yeah. sew it all together, and sell it. It's amazing. I mean, that that's a trade that you probably don't find. No, you know, as a, you know, a single person doing that. Yeah, exactly. So that, you know. Exactly. And then from that, I kind of, I've always had a love for vintage tools. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, so I kind of put the two together, and yeah. now I go around the country doing doing shows like this yeah. festival, and I've got a uh, permanent market stall in Macclesfield as well. Wow. So yeah, so I've, I've actually got my own shop. So you so on, online as well? Or, yeah, yeah, so I sell on Etsy, oh, okay. um, yeah. which has been the best mark, route to market for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I sell right around the world. Yeah. My biggest market for the wool clothing is America. Really? Yeah, okay. yeah, so yeah. I sell, I've sold but It's proper like high quality, like yeah. where, where do you get the, so I suppose, I, the materials yeah, from? Yeah, so I, I buy it in from the mill, so okay. I buy it by the roll. So then, you know, looking at this, which is absolutely amazing, um, you know, I've, even the cloak, you know, how long yeah. would that that sort of item take you to make something like this take probably about three or four hours okay okay that, that, that's from it being on a, on a roll, roll of, yeah. of wool um for me to to chalk it out cut yeah. it out and then start sewing it all, all together obviously it takes a lot longer when you start adding you know the decorative parts to it yeah yeah uh, but you know i try and make them take a more modern approach it look, looks like quite a, a traditional type thing yeah but you know um but you can see the so quality and the I thickness in things that. like thumb loops oh, in there. Okay, yeah. So it's, again, it's a more practical version. Yeah. yeah. Uh, of things. And so if anyone wanted to find you and um, or any of your items, or if yeah. they wanted bespoke stuff, yeah. how do they go about Best it? Best places Etsy. Etsy. So, so find me on Etsy under Modern Warfare. Okay. Excellent. Well, great. And uh, yeah, nice to meet you. And I love your passion. Thank you very much. Hi. So I'm here with Charlie at uh, Autogas 2000 Leisure. Um, so yeah, Charlie, we've, we've come across your stall, and obviously yeah, LPG it is a bit of a talk actually because um, you know a lot of people want cheaper systems and how to to progress their van to you know have cheaper gas etc. But looking at this, so you do a variety of different bottles and, and different fills. But tell us a bit about yourself or your company um, com and what you actually our, do. Our company is probably one of the sort of main um, players in the in the under slung tank fitting market. We we developed and, and uh, made our own brackets, um, our own fixing system and uh, we have a fantastic reputation for underslung tanks, refillable bottles. Um, like there's been a lot of concern recently about shortages of, of LPG yeah. but in actual fact it, it seems that the more and more leisure businesses are putting uh, pumps into their premises. So yeah and that's something doing, I've seen actually yeah. you know there is more and more you know places now springing up to actually fill up these the bottles. So the doom and gloom sort of yeah. isn't as bad as it seems. So yeah. Well yeah. I, I didn't find you a week if I found you a week ago you know but I've, I've just had a, a system fitting myself so you know I'm, I'm pro to this you know and uh, definitely um, but so do you supply only or do you supply no, fit? No, no, we supply, we have a fully, we have supply and install, we have a fully yeah. equipped workshop. So our fit has been doing it for sort of approximately 40 years. Um, yeah. So it's a, it's a very sort of 
well set up and organised um, business. They wanted to find you. Is there a website? Is yeah, there? it's autogastshop.co.uk um, is the best best place to find us. Okay. Um, yeah. But we're also very much a people business, and we have the. Yeah. Um, People who will answer, real people will answer the telephone, yeah. um, and they're all knowledgeable staff, so they'll give you the, the correct information. You, it's not a web shop that, that just sells yeah. boxes. We, we do have uh, yeah. staff that answer the phone that will tell you about the product. Lovely. Well, it's great to meet you. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you. That's us, we're on our way home now. We had a fantastic time at Van Life Festival in Shrewsbury. We met some fantastic people on the Motorhome Happiness Group. Um, we spent most of our time with them, the great people, especially James and his mum. They've done a fantastic job with, with that group. Uh, we met some um, good traders, some people showing off their vans and self builds and things like that. Um, and we had a good time with Colin as well, who joined us while we were there. Um, he will soon be doing his own YouTube channel once he gets his van. <laughs> um, so we'll let you know about that as well. Um, anything you wanted to add, Dave? Um, from me, it was awesome as always. And I'll see you guys soon.